Once upon a time, 4.2 million years ago. The sun rises over the Rift Valley, illuminating a world teeming with life. This is the dawn of our journey across the ancient African savanna. These footprints, preserved for millions of years, tell the story of our earliest journeys across the African savanna. The journey of mankind began here. Across the vast African savanna, a new journey began. The journey of those who walked upright. Five million years ago, a new journey began. These early ancestors. Hidden among the giants, our ancestors watched and waited. It was here. From these fragments of bone, we glimpse the dawn of humanity. The African savanna, five million years ago. Here, amidst the gentle giants. Life in the ancient savanna was a constant struggle, but by using the simplest of tools. Survival here demands cooperation. A shared meal strengthens the bonds that define us. But walking upright wasn't just evolution, Ate. It was survival. As the forests gave way to dry savanna, a new breed of hominid emerged. As the climate grew drier, food became scarce. Rivers shrank. Predators ruled the open plains. To survive, standing upright offered a new advantage. danger before it struck. The 
golden age of the Australopithans was ending. Survival now demanded cooperation. Each day was a battle between hunger and fear. They had no tools, no weapons, only instinct. In the cradle of humanity, survival demanded constant vigilance. A moment's distraction could mean the end of the line. Yet they learned to move together, to warn each other. To survive as a unit. For the first time in Earth's history, empathy became a survival trait. Caring for one another meant the group endured. million years ago, in the heart of Africa, our story began. The twilight hours were a time of peril. For Australopithecus, the golden hour was a time of vigilance. Survival depended on cooperation and constant awareness. The roots of humanity were not in power but in connection. From these ancient beginnings in the golden hour of the Rift Valley, we continue to unearth the story of our earliest ancestors. Fossils found in Kenya as Alia Bay and Ethiopia, Middle Awash, reveal. Five million years ago, on the vast African savanna, our ancestors took their first steps. A detailed analysis of the fossils reveals a strong femur curvature, evidence of bipedalism, and surprisingly thick enamel on the teeth. Strong bones, thick enamel, and clear signs of bipedal motion. Five million years separate these two forms, yet the fundamental mechanics of walking upright remain strikingly similar. Every ancient footprint tells us that upright walking was already a success story.
journey began here, etched into the very earth we stand upon. The legacy of the first walkers awaits discovery. The excavation grids fade, revealing the world of our ancestors. from these first steps. Refining the art of walking, tool making, thinking. From this cradle of life, our ancestors began their long journey, spreading across the vast savannas of ancient Africa. Here, amidst the dust and the dawn, our ancestors began to shape their world. Without Anamensis, there would be no us. Driven by instinct and cooperation, our ancestors begin the long journey out of the ridges and across the savannah. Out of the dust and mist of the Pliocene epoch came Homo erectus. Here, etched in the cradle of humankind, we find the first steps of our story. is the dawn of humanity, a fragile beginning shaped by cooperation and the relentless pursuit of survival. This was the dawn of man, a time when every step was a gamble against the wild. But their legacy still moves within every step we take. walked these lands for millions of years. Echoes of their journey linger still, reminding us where we began. This was life 4.2 million years ago, when hominids first walked the savannah. Across the ancient African savannah, our journey began a testament to resilience. Emerging from the forests, these hominids began a journey that would change the world, walking upright across the vast African savanna. This was life 4.2 million years ago, when hominids first walked the savanna.